Hi, my name is Bruce Doran. I'm one of the staff scientists that works at Science North and February is Heart Month. And I want to use the opportunity to really clarify two terms that sometimes people use interchangeably, heart attack and cardiac arrest. Obviously, those are two afflictions that affect the heart, but they affect the heart a little differently. So I want to show you a model of a heart that I have right here, okay? A heart is really just a big muscle whose primary function is to pump blood throughout the human body. One thing I want you to notice is you will notice these things. These are called coronary arteries, okay? So they bring blood to the various heart muscle, fresh blood and oxygen, because the heart muscles need that in order to live and in order to function. Now, in case of a heart attack, for some reason, there is a little blockage that occurs in one of these coronary arteries. And if a blockage occurs, then there is no fresh blood or very little fresh blood and oxygen that reaches at the end of that. And those heart muscles will receive no oxygen and fresh blood. And essentially what happens if that lasts a long time, those heart muscles could potentially uh, die. Now, during a heart attack, even though you know you got that blockage, the heart is still pumping, but it is not pumping as efficiently. The person that has a heart attack will usually feel a pain, a chest pain, uh, but they're still conscious, okay? And the heart is still pumping blood, but not as efficiently. So I want you to think of a heart attack as an issue that has to do with plumbing. It's a plumbing issue. For some reason, right, there's a blockage that happens within the coronary artery, that blockage prevents fresh blood and oxygen to reach certain muscles of the heart and then those muscles are not going to be as efficient and the heart is not pumping as efficiently. The person still uh, awake is still alive but in a lot of pain. Now with a cardiac arrest it's a little bit different. In a cardiac arrest what happens okay well normally in your heart you have special cells okay in your heart that are like a natural pacemaker okay they will send electrical signals to different parts of the muscles to cause certain muscles of your cells to contract first and then second okay they determine the uh, natural rhythm the pumping rhythm of the muscles of your heart and during a cardiac arrest for some reason those electrical signals are not being fired properly Either they stop, so the heart muscle doesn't even move, or sometimes they'll just fire randomly or erratically, and you'll actually see the heart muscle quiver. It's called fibrillation, okay? When that happens, there's no more blood being pumped by the heart to the rest of your body, especially the brain and organs, and essentially the person is dead. You'll see them fall over and they keel over. So I want you to think that a heart, uh, cardiac arrest, I mean, is really an electrical issue. It's a, something that has to do with electricity, the electrical signals, they're not being relayed the way they're supposed to. So how do you deal with issues uh, with, with circumstances of a person, let's say, that has a heart attack and cardiac arrest will be a little bit different. So somebody that has a heart attack, they are still, like I said, conscious. They will usually say there's a chest pain. And when that happens, you ask the individual to sit down and you call 911 and you call for help right away. So the individual is still alive, is still responding to you, uh, but in a lot of pain. Whereas with a uh, cardiac arrest, the individual will be on the floor, right? They are essentially dead. So if you find somebody on the floor, uh, try to wake them up, and they're not breathing, they probably have a cardiac arrest. So what you need to do again, you call 911, but then it is important to do chest compressions. And by doing those chest compressions, really what you do is you're pumping blood, you're helping to put blood to the brain and the rest of the body, and you're extending their chances of survival. Obviously that individual is unconscious, isn't responding to you, and that's why those chest compressions are really, really important uh, to increase their chances of survival. All right, so hopefully that clarifies between these two terms. So keep in mind that a heart attack is a plumbing issue, whereas a cardiac arrest is an electrical issue. So hopefully you learn a few things about heart attacks and cardiac arrest and you know the difference between the two.